young people and looking out into the audience and looking into the eyes of the future. Because y'all are the future. Y'all, I'm going to talk to you just a little bit. I'm going to share a few things with you that I believe have been very important to me in order to be successful. Attitude is everything. Attitude is everything. How you wake up in the morning? Positive or negative. How you walk in the door? How you greet your parents? How you attack your classroom, your teachers every day? How you look at that work? Positive attitude. It's everything. The second thing, and this happened to me early on because I always was a big dreamer. I'm an idealist. I am. I, I believe anything can be done. Believe in yourself. The most important person in the whole world that has to believe in you in order to be successful is you. You want to be the President of the United States? Then yes, you've got to believe that. And what happens when you say it out loud and when you really believe it, you think about it all the time. You are focused on it. It puts you on a path to get there. It's like a road map. The third thing is be kind. You're like, God, that didn't have anything to do with being smart, or passing all your tests, or, you know, uh, creating something that's going to get you into Harvard. It didn't have anything to do with that. Be kind. Your words can affect somebody for a day, for a week, for a lifetime. Be careful how you say things to people. Be kind. It's not hard to do. And the fourth thing is surround yourself with good people. Hey, nobody goes anywhere successfully by themselves. Nobody. Put yourself in the presence of people who want to support you, who want to help you grow, and help you accomplish your goals. Thomas Edison said there were three things that were key to success. The first thing was common sense. Have common sense. The second thing was to work hard. Work hard. Hey, you can't cheat the grind. You cannot cheat the grind. You've got to grind it out. You've got to put the work in. And I know that boys basketball team knows exactly what I'm talking about. You cannot cheat the grind. The grind is all that time you spend in off-season, in the summer, in the preseason. You have to put those, that time in the weight room. You've got to put that time in the library reading if you're going, you want to go to Harvard. You've got to put the time in. You're not going to lay in bed and all of a sudden success is going to fall on your lap. It doesn't happen that way. You've got to go put the time in. Can't cheat the grind. And when you do the grind, then you let it shine. That's how that works. Common sense, work hard, stick to it to this. I love that word. Stick to it to this. Don't quit. Don't quit. You've got to stay with it. You can take all these things that I've said, and I remember when I was in the eighth grade, I couldn't beat this one tennis player. She was better than me. I was a better athlete. I was bigger, faster, stronger, and I could not beat her. I couldn't understand why I couldn't beat her. When I got older, and I go back, and I remember thinking about that. I was thinking, how do people get over the top? How do they get over the top? Because I know there's a lot, so probably every one of you in here are bright, you're motivated, you're going to college, you've got goals and dreams, but there's going to be a lot of competition for whatever position you're looking to be, whatever your profession is, there's competition. How are you going to get over the top? How are you going to beat them? What's going to be your edge? And that's the word that I remember thinking of. What's my edge? What do I have that's going to get me over the top to beat those players? So remember this. There's four letters in edge. And here's four things to remember, because this has served me well also. The E in edge, the first one is enthusiasm. I believe in that word more than, <laughs> I believe in it a lot. Because I believe enthusiasm is the X factor to success. It just is. If you've got enthusiasm on your team, 
whether it's an athletic team, whether it's a team that's trying to finish a project, whether it's a dance team, it does not matter. If that whole group has enthusiasm, it's like having another player on your team. The D is discipline. You've got to be disciplined to be successful. You have to. You can't hit the alarm clock at 5 o'clock and sleep another hour and say, never mind, I'm not doing that. No, man. You've got to get up and do the work. There you go, back to the grind. Man, you can't cheat the grind. You cannot cheat it. The G, and this is the word we don't hear very often, but I like it. Grit. You've got to be grit. You've got to be tough. You've got to be able to handle failure and move on. Failure is just the next step forward to success. You've got to handle that. You've got to be tough. You cannot quit and keep moving forward. And the last E is expect great. Because if you do all those things, then you should expect great. You should expect great from yourself. You should expect it from whoever your teammates are, whoever's in your circle. Expect great. Hey, you did all the work, right? You put all that work in the bank so you can go back and draw from that. Y'all, I wish each and every one of y'all the very, very best. It's been an honor for me to be able to speak to y'all. I hope I gave you a little bit of something to be successful. And I just say this, believe in yourself and go for it.